Hello, this is just Spectrum uh, with Make Texas Carry again. Um, and today I'm doing a bit of a different video. I am uh, going to be discussing what I think is a um, better example, even than uh, my own, of why we need to uh, make Texas Carry again and America in general. Um, this story is actually out of California. Um, but yeah, some of you may know I had, um, a run-in recently, um, with, uh, some police over carrying, and, um, I made a video about that, um, but I've got, uh, a, uh, more tragic story here, and I don't mean to, uh, stand on the graves, um, of uh, victims like this to, uh, further my, uh, agenda, but, um, well, let, let me just get into this. So, um, yeah, here. An investigation continues this morning in California after a 13-year-old was shot and killed by a sheriff's deputy. He was carrying a toy rifle that resembled an AK-47. Carter Evans reports the shooting is rattling a community just outside San Francisco. My son was not alive. And okay, so, um, yeah, basically, I don't, they're, they're calling it a uh, toy rifle. It doesn't, uh, and you'll see this in a minute, it doesn't have a orange tip or anything. Um, I'm not sure if it's a pellet gun or a BB gun or an airsoft gun. Um, pellet and BB guns are um, not toys, but, um, I don't know, I, I don't know exactly, um, but yeah, obviously, a tragic, uh, story already, um, Rodrigo and Sude Lopez can't believe their 13-year-old son, Andy, is gone. They say he was walking in his Santa Rosa neighborhood Tuesday afternoon, returning an AK-47-like toy rifle to a friend. Two sheriff's deputies tried to detain him. So, um, I, I, I can say this, I, because I've been here before, um, it can be very, um, scary, intimidating, and, uh, disorienting when, uh, when you're confronted like this, and, um, I mean, at 13, I'm not sure I would have, um, been there enough to have, uh, responded, uh, appropriately, and, um, so, yeah, just a awful tragedy all around, um, but again, it's, you can't really, uh, blame anyone for the situation, um, the kid, I mean, like I said, he, I can't blame him, um, because of what I just said, the police, as you'll hear in a bit, um, kind of felt like they had their hand forced. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, continue with this. Witness in the area reported that he heard the deputy shout two times, put the gun down, put the gun down. We don't where to spread cops. And I don't know why he shouldn't listen to what he says. The sheriff's spokesperson. So, yeah, they're saying. So he was uh, told to put the gun down, but um, again, it can be very disorienting and all that, and you just can't be in that uh, his uh, situation. You can't um, know whether you'd have done better or not, and um, yeah. Says the boy ignored the directive to drop the gun. As the subject was turning toward him, the barrel of the assault rifle was rising up and turning in his direction. One of the officers. So yeah, the um, the he's turning towards them, looking like he's going to aim it at them. They, it's hard to tell if he's they 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 probably can't tell he's thirteen. And even if he is thirteen, thirteen year olds can still um do horrible things 
obviously that's not what he was going to do, and that's not what he was trying to look like he was going to do. But that's just such a tough call to make. Officer shot multiple rounds. At least one hit Lopez. The deputies approached the subject, handcuffed him, and immediately began life-saving measures. Lopez died in the... So yeah, they did um, try to save him, but he unfortunately passed at the scene. And again, it's these situations, there's no one to really blame. At a press conference, law enforcement officers displayed the confiscated toy rifle on the left. Okay, so here you see, this is the, um, the toy one. And they're calling it a toy. Um, you see, it's no, got, not, it's not got an orange tip. Um, <laughs> but it it looks real. Um, it's just hard to say. Compared with an actual AK-47 on the right, a witness saw the boy walking with the fake gun before he was shot. I couldn't tell that he was 13 years old at all. He did not appear to be 13 years old. So yeah, um, again, and I said this in my situation as well, you can't really blame the person who made the call, and I don't think that was the person that made the call, but like he said, he looked like an adult with a gun, and um, again, really, <sighs> um, this is a situation that nobody else really has a uh, answer to. Um, abolishing the police won't fix this problem. It won't work either. Um, and gun control won't fix this problem because this is a toy gun again. Um, and it still happened, and everybody's innocent. Really, the only thing to really do is, like I say, make Texas carry again, make America carry again, get people used to, um, people carrying, because that's the only way that, um, we can really, uh, have a hope of preventing this from, these sort of things from happening. And he was well liked at school, where he played in the band. They set up a makeshift memorial expressing disbelief that such a tragic mistake could happen. It was really good for the Lord to know that nothing's gone. <laughs> the deputies involved in the shooting have been put on administrative leave. Andy's father told And, um, again, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say I think the uh, deputies should be punished, um, but definitely they should be put on leave just because... Just for their own sakes as well, um, just because knowing what happened, knowing what they did, this is something they're going to live, they're never going to be able to live this down, even, even if it was, even it being justified and a, even in the situation they were, they're, they're no, they're going to always know that they killed a, 13 year old with a toy gun and they're that's going to be traumatic traumatic for them if I, honestly a lot of people a lot of cops would leave the job after something like this and you can't really blame them just because that's such an awful thing to have to go through to be the one to do that it's it really is just an awful thing that I would hope to never have to do. The newspaper, he remembers his last words to his son. I told him what I tell him every day, he said. Behave yourself. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Los Angeles. What a terrible, terrible tragedy. So, yeah. Um, that, that's the uh, story today. Um... Again, a terrible tragedy, and I want to make sure this sort of thing never happens again. And really, we need, like, again, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but I can't stress how important it is that the only way we can 
prevent this sort of thing from happening is to carry and get people used to people carrying because we um it's a toy gun you can't you can't stop that um and there's no other solution other than to get people used to it so that they to prevent calls like this from happening is the only way to prevent what led up to it because nothing else leading up to it was really handled improperly it was so yeah that's it um jo so join the MTCA um i don't want to uh try to uh plug myself here too much but um we really just want to uh prevent the sort of thing happening again make texas and america carry again um but yeah that's that's it for now um bye